there YouTube, Monkey here. So I just got my shark controller in uh, the mail and first appearance, love it. Favorite color, so I'm with the orange. It does have these uh, these fins, I'll bring it a little closer so you can see it. And uh, it goes below the controller and you don't have to click down here, but uh, you definitely can't, oops, wrong button. Uh, you can click down there or you can click up here in the middle and they're really flat to the controller, so I'm not sure how much adjusting that's going to take to get used to, but um, they look really well constructed. Um, basically, they did what I thought you'd have to do is make it where it has to be a, a wired controller or, or wireless, but not be able to change the battery. So uh, they drilled into the battery cover and uh, fastened on there, otherwise there's not enough room to screw into these controllers in the back and that's why I hadn't done the uh, trigger stop or the paddles on the controllers I was making but they do have the trigger stops on here and it's a good looking controller a um, little bit of flaw up here in the in the paint where you can see that they painted it um, nothing too terribly noticeable so they look nice um, I'm gonna hop into a lobby here and, and test out the trigger stops have they're they're precise because like the 360 controller you can, you can use that little screw and uh, lower the trigger to be precise. And supposedly these are already uh, precision tested. Um, but the controller, I mean, yeah, it, it looks nice on the first glance. I like it. Right, we're gonna switch over here into a, uh, a game real quick. Hop into a private lobby real quick. Really, like I said, a really low profile on this. I'm not sure uh, how much getting used to that's going to take. It did take a few weeks to get the controllers in the mail. Um, they're coming from the UK. And uh, I believe they're about 160 bucks a piece. I tweeted a picture of this orange one and green one. The green one is Sconey Life. He's got the uh, control freaks on it. I personally don't care for the feel of the control freaks, but that's because I haven't really taken the time to get used to them. But, uh, all right, so let's see. All right, that's B. Team Deathmatch. All right, so B's on the right, A's on the left, just like your normal configuration, and you can have them do whatever way you want them to. But you can always open this up and Customize it yourself if you really wanted to, but that voids the uh, warranty that they, they offer. Time to work, oh, squad. All right, so it is definitely uh, a little bit of an improvement over not having trigger stops. There's a lot more play without them, or at least a little bit. Doesn't seem to make a huge significance, but I do notice a bit of a difference. thing I don't like about how low pro these are is it's hard to tell that you're pressing them so okay it's just taking a little get a little getting used to it's hard to tell if you're pressing them or not I feel like I have to uh widen my grip on my controller a little bit to get in there where it feels more natural. Alright, the triggers are definitely more sensitive than, than they were without them. Um, overall, I give it about a... Uh, Eight out of ten, just because if, if these were raised a little bit more and you could feel yourself clicking in, you'd, you'd know you were depressing the button. Um, kind of one of the things that, that the actual Scuff Gaming controllers had was that clicking noise where you could actually feel the resistance of it clicking. 
Um, these you can do a little bit. The lower you go, the more you can feel that you're pressing them. So let's try this with uh, the ring fingers. It just feels weird, but... The lower you press on these buttons, or on these fins, rather, the uh, more you can actually feel yourself pressing the button. So, uh, like I said, again, had an 8 out of 10 for uh, uh, losing a couple points on this fin idea. If they're raised a little bit more, I might give it an extra point or two. Um, I do like the trigger stops, and they seem to be uh, done exactly the same way as Scuff Gaming did them. But, uh, improvement, nonetheless. Um, they include in the price the uh, rechargeable battery, and they send you a new cord to plug into your Xbox One to charge it with. And uh, being able to customize your colors, love that. The, the shipping was a little slow, um, so a little point off there, I guess. Uh, definitely recommend it so far. I'll use this, uh, I'll probably only use this controller for the next while until uh, until either it breaks or do a review or get, get something better. Um, but right now, this is definitely my go-to thing. So, uh, hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment or tweet me, um, his pet monkey. Uh, the name that I use for everything, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, so. Uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Any questions, let me know. Until next time, YouTube.